as we're back with another Blu-ray unboxing and this thing where you know it's Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, let me just quickly talk about that for like a minute. So yeah, the Dark Knight Rises Blu-ray steel book I um picked up, of course, you can jam unboxing of that. Man I did have fun on the weekend watching this. Um I saw this twice over the weekend. Um and what can I say? The Blu-ray is absolutely amazing. The IMAX scenes are absolutely incredible when they just fool your TV screen up. They are absolutely stunning. It's breathtaking. The Blu-ray quality is so, so good. Um, special features-wise, it is amazing. I've seen um, most of them. I just need to see um, the Batmobile ones. I've seen all the Ending the Night, um, which is really, really good. You know, the Bane versus Batman and how they did prologue, you know, Bane's chant. All that good um, little features on there. Um... Really, really good Blu-ray. The audio in this Bane's voice is so loud. I didn't know how loud it would be, but it's so freaking loud. You can hear him so clearly. Um, this, I think this was such a good experience watching at home. Even though it was great in the IMAX, but it was really, really cool watching at home. It had the same effect. So that's really good. So if you haven't picked up it yet, pick it as well. I'm not sure if this is out of stock or out of print, but I'm pretty sure this will go soon since it's a really big release. But yeah, Star Night Rise is great freaking Blu-ray. Now, the next one I thought would be coming on Monday, as I told you, was The Bourne Legacy. Um, didn't come on Monday, didn't come Tuesday, it came on Wednesday, so yeah, it's Wednesday now, it came, got released on Monday. Um, you know, I'm just, I want to complete my Bourne movies, you know, I've got all three Bourne movies, Bourne Identity, Bourne Supremacy, Bourne Alternatum, which was my favourite one. Really loved The Bourne Alternatum, that was a really good one. But yeah, I love The Bourne movies, really good. I never saw them, um, I watched them all leading up to the Legacy one, since I saw, I got in a free advanced screening for that, just a day early, but it was free, so I didn't care. So yeah, that's why, so that was cool. Um, now, the movie itself, yeah, um, yeah, Bourne Legacy, um, you can check my review of that if you want. I mean, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy the action scenes. I really like Jimmy, Jer Jeremy Renner. The girl, I feel her name was alright. Um, but it's just that, as I said in my review, it really leaves you. It, you know, you, you did all that things for a pill. Um, but, yeah, I'm not going to give anything away, but it was, it was okay. And I think the sequel will be better, because it, it was a big action scene. It just ended. I was like, what the frick happened? Um, but yeah, I did enjoy it. I mean, there were some slow moments, but the act there was a few action scenes. The end on was pretty good, but most of it was on the trailer. But it was it was an alright movie. Um, so yeah, it is. I got it from Sainsbury's. I got the Steelbook one. Again, another freaking Steelbook. I know, kill me now. Um, I like my Steelbooks. Um, but even though I didn't enjoy this movie that much, um, I did like it. I really want to watch it again just to see what like, the thoughts all over again. But I think I give it three out of five because of the action scene. And Jeremy Renner, I really enjoyed, and I really, really liked the beginning of the movie with when he's in the ice and all that. And wow, he's in the ice place. The alternating movie is happening, so I really liked the idea how they had to do that. But I think hopefully for the sequel, they might have Matt Damon and um, Jeremy Renner since this movie made a lot of money. So I got it from Sainsbury's. I took all my dress off things. I got this for about sixteen pound seventeen. You know that pre-order thing, I'm not sure how much it is now, but I always check saying this because on the H&B and that, it's like £22, I don't want to pay that much. So I saw it for 16 17 I thought, yeah, I'll just get it for that. So yeah, let's open it up. Uh, my nails, uh, okay. There'll be some adverts, I bet you, yeah. Let's take all these ads out. It's a flyer for the Dark Knight Rises, I just saw. Well, that's actually a pretty cool flyer, I might put that more. But anyways... Um, you get, of course, the little thing that says The Born Legacy. Ah, uh, yeah, it was 17 quid, but my address is there. So, you see, I think I can show it quick. 17. I think it was 17, 90, 90 for I. Something like that. But, yeah. Um, you got another fly here of Sainsbury's. There it is, The Dawn Up Rises. Yeah, ready, released. Uh, whoa. Oh, when you spend 50 more. Some deals. I haven't even watched my Amazing Spider-Man yet. I've been waiting to watch it, but I've just been watching Donna Isis. So is that in there? Yeah. Empty box, and yeah, it's the steelbook. Don't know why I kind of came late, but anyway, I haven't seen any unboxings of this, and I know in America it's released um to the twentieth or something. But anyway, here it is. Let me move this legacy. Donna Isis. Here it is. The Born Legacy, a Blu-ray digital copy. Finally, with the iTunes code. There is limited edition steelbook. 
Um, yeah, Jimmy Renner. Oh, yeah, that's her name. Rachel was and Edward Norton. I forgot about him. Yeah, he was in this. He was good in this one. So, Blu ray. No DVDs. This is Blu ray. Did you copy it? Plus, Ultraviolet. I'm freaking A Ultraviolet. It's so annoying. But anyway, again, limited edition. So, again, I'm not sure how limited it is. I'm not sure if this has got up on prices and that, but it's another steelbook. Um, there's Spanner there. Born Legacy. And here's the back. 12 contains murder violence. Um, you get some screenshots there of the film. I'm actually looking forward to watching this again since I don't really remember it. But I remember there was one scene where it was with um her and she was in the doctor's place with this other doctor guy and he started like I'm not, if you haven't seen but I'm just saying if you remember if you have seen the movie you remember with her and that girl with the glasses. Wow, that scene, everyone in the field was freaking silent since of the dawn arises is happening. And I mean, if you wanted to go for a toilet break, that's where you need to go. Um, let's see that. Running time. It, I can't really read on the camera, but it says, fucking hell, I didn't know it was that long. It's 2 hours, 15 minutes. Um, and you got some bonus. Uh, I'm not sure if this is region free. It never really says on these ones. But here's the special features. Oh, pretty good, um... A special features you get reborn, enter Iron Cross, crossing contains legacy and location, capturing chaos, the motorbike chase, man versus wolf, deleted scenes, featuring commenting with Tony Guillory, over 45 minutes of exclusive content. So that's pretty good. There's some pretty good special features on this set. And there's the um, plot thing if you want to see. Perfect height of it. Perfect hide up picture. Perfect hide up Um I, th I, th I think Blu-ray.com gave us some pretty good um, picture and audio, so that'd be cool to see. Warner Brothers. And yeah, let's open it up. So yeah, the movie's alright. I'm not sure about the Steelbook, but movie, if you haven't, it's to complete my Bourne collection, but if you haven't seen any of the Bourne movies, definitely check out the Matt Damon's one, and then of course you'll end up watching this one, because, you know, so if you're a Bourne fan, then yeah. But I did enjoy it, I did enjoy it, I know it wasn't that good, but I did enjoy it, it was still, it was a fun, it was an entertaining movie, um, parts of it, especially, the action scenes I really liked, the end part was pretty, pretty good as well, so let's open it, ow, oh, freaking hell, I, I really have a guy that comes with iTunes, and with, um, freaking ultraviolet thing, of course you get your day thing, I don't, thank god it's not the sticky one, it's just... I've said I've never seen any unboxings of it, so I don't know. So I keep these as I keep mentioning. Limited. So I'm not again. It says limited edition steelbook. I on all the steelbooks I've got, it never says limited edition steelbook. So this must be quite limited, I believe. So there is the back. Pretty cool little date card. So it's like, look at the steelbooks. No um, embossing or anything, but it's really, really nice. Clean steelbooks, got nice gloss on it. Really, really cool. Get the little names there. Not too much Josh Hatching, but you get, of course, the main. Um, Jeremy Renner as Aaron Cross. Did I just say Aaron Cross? Is it Aaron Cross? Aaron Cross. Yes, it is. Yes, it is Aaron Cross. Um, I was thinking of that. Oh, it was Aaron Cross. Um, one with. I don't know what I'm talking about, but no embossing or debossing, it's really nice, um, nice finish on it, the, the finish that I like. And yeah, it's just got the ride on it and Jim Arena pointing a gun at you, that's fine, yeah. So Born Legacy there, I'm not sure about the back, let's take a look. Oh, that's sick, that's really cool, I wasn't expecting that, you get another picture of Jeremy Renner running with another gun, really, really nice. That's I wasn't expecting anything about it, I was just expecting that uh, playing back, but that's really cool. So that's a nice back there. Really, really cool back. Let's open up. Let's take my digital copy code out. Break it out. So there it is, just like the Ted one. The Born Legacy watch anytime, anywhere. And then there it is. So it does come with your iTunes file. So let's open it up. And you then you get your inside there. Just like the Ted one, it kind of reminds me of. Um, Born Legacy, so that was Universal as well, wasn't it? So there, simple disc with the words on it, Born Legacy. And you get some inside artwork, which is really, really cool. And there's the inside artwork. Uh, I don't really remember the scene, but again, another picture of Jimmy Renner with two guns this time in his hands. Very nice. So there is the front. 
pretty pretty cool. I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting much from the steel book, but they do they do deliver, so that's really nice. Worth my money. So yeah, that's the inside. You put the um disc in there. So I'll show you that. I can't even get my disc in there. So I'll show you the over the front. That's that. So yeah, that's my unboxing of the Born Legacy. One more last look in the inside with the disc. So yeah, that's my unboxing of the Born um Legacy. Um, definitely check this movie out. Of course, if you've seen all of the Born movies, but don't expect too much because it's not one of the best Born movies. But it's uh it's a good one. It's an it's an alright one, and I'll definitely be watching this um during the weekend or tonight. So yeah, that's the Born Legacy, and um hope you enjoyed my unboxing of it, and I'll see you later.